This is See It Now. Edited and produced by Murrow and Friendly. Now, here is Ed Murrow. Good afternoon. We are all ignorant. One man's mind can hold only a tiny fragment of the total knowledge available. <laughs> Today, we talk in the middle at the edge of peacetime atomic power. The promise rather than the threat. The peaceful uses of nuclear power. So far, men control that power, which means they haven't made a world-shattering mistake. So there are more people than laboratories and machines in this report because men still control the power, are still able to control the timetable of our destiny. This is Moore Park in the Santa Susana Mountains on the rim of Los Angeles. In a moment, you will watch all of the homes of this community of 1100 being lit by nuclear power. In nearby Santa Susana, this liquid sodium reactor, a small one, 6,000 kilowatts, was built by the Atomics International Division of North American Aviation for the Atomic Energy Commission. The Susana reactor started producing power early in November, and our cameras were focused on the town at 7.30 p.m. November 12, 1957, when for the first time in the United States, an entire community was illuminated by electricity generated by an atomic reactor. Enrico Fermi once looked at a reactor and said, wouldn't it be wonderful if it could cure the common cold? Here at Moore Park, a chain reaction that started with him washed the dishes and lit a book for a small boy to read. By 1960, the Atomic Energy Commission expects that 10 atomic power plants will be on the line or nearing completion. 